giving us a 20G uplink instead of just 10G. Hey tech lovers, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today we're working on a super exciting project for one of our clients who owns our large resort. So the goal is full speed, reliable outdoor Wi-Fi across several guest area clusters, including the pool here, the beach, and the golf course. And this is our control room. So to make this happen, we're building a 10 gigabit fiber backbone connecting each cluster. And we'll walk you through the setup step-by-step step from the control room to the outdoor switch. So by the end of this video, you will know exactly how and why we did it this way. So let's get started. And now you may wonder, why fiber? When you're covering large distances and need high speed, fiber optic cable is your best friend. Unlike copper cable, fiber offers massive bandwidth for future proofing, low latency and signal loss over long distances, and is immune to electromagnetic interference, so perfect for outdoor setup. And because we're aiming for full speed Wi Fi, including Wi Fi 6 performance, so we need a solid foundation, and that's where 10G backbone comes in. So now let's pretend we're in the control room and everything starts with this a 12 port 10G L3 managed fiber switch. This switch comes with 12 SFP plus slots and also support data transfer speed up to 10 gigabit per second, ideal for 10G servers, Wi Fi 6 access point, and even 8K video stream. Now we need to connect the router to our fiber switch, and since we don't have any Ethernet port, that's why we'll need this. This is a 10G SFP2 copper module. After we plug it into one of our SFP slots, now we are able to use Ethernet cable. So I'm going to insert this short patch cord and connect it to our router. Pretty handy, right? And today we are using this single mole fiber optic cable with LC connector, two strings. This pre-made cable is great for long distance and outdoor runs and will run the cable from the control room to the outdoor. But to connect the fiber to our switch, we'll need to use SFP plus transceiver. Why? The SFP plus slot is like a flexible gateway. You can insert a appropriate transceiver for your cable type. We're using LC connector single mode. So now let's plug in our 10G transceiver. We have two strings, so let's use string A here. And since we're using 10G fiber, so we have 10G SFP plus module. Remember, always match the speed because a 1G transceiver would bottleneck your whole 10G link. Now we can see the fiber optic cable is running from our control room to outdoor. And in order to survive in outdoor, we'll need a switch that can deliver high-speed data, provide power over Ethernet to our access point, and withstand outdoor environment. And this is our 8-port outdoor PoE switch with 10G uplink comes in. It builds exactly for our job. And here's what makes it perfect. It has a PoE port for powering high-speed devices and also 410G SFP plus uplink port for fast backbone connectivity. IP67 rated waterproof housing, wide temperature tolerance, and because it supports IEEE 802.3 AF80 and BT standard, you can run devices like Wi-Fi 6, IP cameras, and more all power from this single switch. So without saying, let's connect our fiber optic cable. Remember, we used string A. Again, we'll need this 10G SFP plus transceiver so we can connect our fiber optic cable to the switch. Then we'll run an Ethernet cable from one of our port, send both power and data to our access point out there. And boom, just like that, 
our guests at the beach or by the pool can get blazing fast internet thanks to the fiber backbone and outdoor switch. So now our setup is completed, but you may have noticed our managed switches has multiple SFP Plus port and we have two strain fiber optic cable. So what if we use both? Now this is where link aggregation comes in. It is a method where two or more connections are combined to act like one. So giving us a 20G uplink instead of just 10G and that means higher bandwidth redundancy in case one link fails and more stable connections for heavy data loads now let me show you how to set it up so first you need a computer then use the ethernet cable to connect the computer to the switch now all our managed switch support link aggregation and we have to set both switches to get full 20g connection but now i'm just showing you how to configure our outdoor poe switch because the process are basically the same First, connect the computer to our switch here. Okay. Now, when you look at the computer, make sure the computer's IP address and the PoE switch are under the same subnet. After you checked, then just log into the switch. Plug in your name and password. Now you can see we already successfully log into our outdoor PoE switch. Just go to switch config, port channel and port channel group. It's very easy. Just set the name, let's say 20G. Then you can select your member port. Remember we have to group two port together. So port nine is already connected. Let's set port 10. So now we can group port nine and 10 into one port. Just hit apply. Here we go. So now port nine and 10 are grouped together. Before you go, make sure you hit save. So now it's saved successfully. And this is how you get high performance and future ready. And next we have to connect the fiber optic cable. So in order to connect string B, we also have to prepare the SFP plus transceiver. Make sure they're 10 G supported. Now first plug in our SFP transceiver. Then use string B. So now they're both connected. Move on to our outdoor PoE switch. We're doing the same thing. Remember we set port 10. So this one here is port 10. I'm going to slide the SFP transceiver in. Then use the string B fiber optic cable to connect to it. So now we group the two ports into one. So lastly, to recap, here's what we've done. We set up a 10G fiber backbone using our pre-made single mode fiber optic cable, SFP plus transceivers, and our 10G switches. We connected the AP for full speed Wi-Fi and enable link aggregation for up to 20G bandwidth. Now this setup ensures our guests enjoy a seamless, fast internet experience. Whether they're launching by the pool or golfing, meters away. Now if you found this setup helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and feel free to drop your questions in the comment section below. And we'll have more enterprise gray networking tutorials coming up soon. Now thank you very much for joining us and I'll see you in our next video.